So this is the area that would have been the Bois de Bossu. It's a memorial to the Belgians who fought at Waterloo. You can see the land, right? the rise and fall of the land is, uh, so visibility would have been quite poor over any protracted distance and there were lots of places to hide. But given this was the woodland, this would have been where the, uh, the Allies pushed through the Bois de Bossu to get down to Grand Pierpont, which, uh, I don't know, maybe that farm over there. I think you just see the roofs off. But uh, I'm going to go down, heading south from the crossroads to visit Gemoncourt, which is to the east of the road, and then back across to the west to see if I can find the Grand Pierpont. Aerodrome there, it's a plane taking off. But the fold of the land is, um, you know, I think more than I expected. To be fair. Any of our war games are always done on a very nice flat table. You never really get this feel of it. But about a hundred yards there, it drops away, so there's no longer visibility, just just within a hundred yards. This farm was here at the time of the battle, but um, I'll take photos of the other monuments. I'll post those back on Facebook. But yeah, the lay of the land is just amazing to me when you actually visit the battlefields. How different in my mind's eye it actually is. You know, when you read the memoirs, you can actually read the, the, the description of where they hid from sight uh, but this kind of brings that all to life so next video will be general